Hello, good morning, if it is indeed morning where you are, good afternoon if it's afternoon, and even good evening if the night is drawing in where you are today, watching this, watching me babble. Why am I doing this? Well, that's a very good question. Um, I've not really been online much recently. Um, I've been tweeting a bit on Facebook a bit, but not really um, doing so much because I've been writing my second Sherlock Holmes book for... Uh, Titan Books, which brings Watson and Holmes to my hometown of Bristol. That's now in my editor Miranda. I'm waiting, biting my nails, and waiting to see what she thinks of it. Um, so that's um, exciting. It is exciting. It's, it's quite nerve wracking when you're waiting for notes to come out, but it's still exciting because it's the sort of the first person who's really read it, other than Claire, my wife, has, has given it a read. George Mann has seen bits of it as well, um, but this is the first person sort of seeing it in its entirety. So that is exciting. I've also been writing with George the 12th Doctor audiobooks coming from BBC Audio for next year. We've written the first one, The Lost Angel, together, which has the Weeping Angels in it. Then George has written one. Then I've written one, The, um, the Lost Magic. And then we're writing the last one of the series together. We're going to write that next month. Um, so that's the sort of wrapping everything up. There are four they're four standalone stories, but they're, um, they are linked. There's an arc that runs through them. So that's been taking up a lot of time. As have comics, as always, The Ninth Doctor is ongoing. We've just um, finished Supremacy of the Cybermen, the Titan Comics big comic event for 2016, which the uh, last issue came out this last Wednesday. So if you've read it, thank you. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Lots of other stuff that I can't actually talk about, which is the annoying thing about my job. I love what I do, but quite often... I'm doing things that I can't talk about because they're wrapped up in NDAs and there's stuff that hasn't been announced yet. Um, and I've got a few of those things on the go at the minute. So um, I will be able to talk about that as soon as I can. So what else has been happening? Well, I'm sitting there having a cup of coffee, by the way, as you might have gathered. I've been doing a bit of work this morning, so I just thought I'd stop off and have a coffee break. My favourite mug, ladies and gentlemen, a, um, a Nightmare Before Christmas mug. I, I, I don't save it for Christmas, I have it all year round. Um, and it's my comfort mug. It makes me feel good. Especially on a cold November day when there's coffee inside it. <sighs> Lovely. Right, so I blogged about this yesterday, but the special edition of Star Wars Insider is out, the 2017 special edition. I had a little read of this morning as well. And I'm interviewed in it along with Tom, who writes the um, Adventures in Wild Space books with me, Tom Huddleston. Um, there we are. On the page we're talking all about the books because while four of the books are out already we've got two more coming next year in the UK they've only really been available in the UK up to now um, and then they're coming out in the US in the new year with brand new covers um, and they've also just come out in Germany the first couple have just come out in Germany as well so they're sort of starting to spread across the world now so that's very exciting so we've done a quick interview about the books to sort of introduce the characters and say how we came up with the story, our influences, um, what characters from um, Adventures in Wild Space we'd like to see as action figures, because that would be very, very cool indeed. And yeah, so we've got the fifth book coming out in the new year, The Cold, which is the next one I've written. It's in at the minute with Lucasfilm to, um, it goes to a, a place called Story Group, and Story Group are a wonderful bunch of people who um, go through all the stories for all of the Star Wars adventures, whether that's books or comics or films or TV, um, and they make sure that it all links up, that there's nothing in there that contradicts something else that's happening in the Star Wars universe, or they suggest elements you can bring into it as well to really make it Star Wars. So again, another period when I'm waiting for notes, but hopefully they're gonna like what we've done, um, and that book will be coming out in the new year, The Cold, the fifth book in Adventures of Wild Space. So yes, if you fancy picking up um, Star Wars Insider Special Edition, it's, it's out now. There's loads of things, loads of interviews with people from the show, um, lots of um, features on merchandise and ash figures and books and comics. And yeah, it's a good read if you're a Star Wars fan. But I've also had this parcel arrive in the post today. I think I know what this is and I thought I might open it with you. Because if it is what I think it is, it's very exciting. It's not something I've, I've worked on, um, but it's something I've been wanting, waiting to see. So let's have a little look. There we go. Ah, yes it is. Oops, dropped it. Right, so this is, this is lovely. If you're a Star Wars fan, 
like me, you'll love this. It's the Star Wars Galactic Atlas. Um, and this has been put together by the guys at Egmont. And, um, and it is wonderful. It basically goes through a lot of the places in the Star Wars universe. And it talks about the um, adventures that have happened there. There's information about the environments and the planets. There's information about the stories. There's different landmarks. It goes right the way through. Um, I mean, there's a spread there on the events of, of Force Awakens. And so yeah, it goes through all the, all the different locations so you can follow the various things that happen in the Star Wars. It just, does, it just looks beautiful. That's spread on the homeworld of the uh, Wookiees, Chewie's race. Um, lots of things happen in the various series as well. I don't think there's any mention of Life Day, which was yesterday, I think. No, we'll have to get Life Day back into canon. Um, so yeah, so this is brilliant. If you are a, was Endor, the moon of Endor, if you are a Star Wars fan, it's just a beautiful, beautiful piece of work. The Battle of Endor, the Death Star, looking a little bit worse for wear. So yes, Naboo, oh, it, it's Battle of Hoth, they're all in here, it's well worth the read. I, I, I now have to go and do some work and I actually just want to sit and gaze at this, but that, it just looks absolutely lovely. I will be spending a long time looking at this. So yes, there we go, the Star Wars Galactic Atlas, thanks to Egmont. I'll be reading that. So what am I doing now? Well, I'm off to write the back matter for Vikings Uprising issue four, which wraps up that second Viking series, which I've been writing for Titan. Um, and so I'm, I'm writing a little essay at the back on Viking honor. Um, and then after I've written that today, I'm writing a Bass Street Kids strip for the Beano. I mean, talk about going from the sublime to the ridiculous. You know, you, 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 um, you're writing a historical essay on the Vikings one minute, and next you're writing about Danny, Plug, um, Fatty and the rest, and Toots. And, and to be fair, that's why I like my job. So there you are. Thanks for sharing this little video. Thanks for sharing my coffee break. I will do more of these videos if people like them. I will answer questions about the various things I'm working on, Doctor Who, Star Wars, Vikings, whatever. I'll be able to talk about what else I've got coming up as well. Yeah, so if you've got things you'd like to ask me, I will perhaps answer them in one of these vlogs. We'll see how they go. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it, um, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.